Charlie Green's boy, with a gang of toughs, be a shock to Charlie. Hard on the boy, too, if he's picked up. Maybe I didn't really see who it was. No, not right to hide him. If he gets away this time, he'll get in worse trouble later. Besides, it's my job to turn him in. Right or wrong, the watchman has made his decision. A moral decision. Like other moral decisions, it will have an effect on other people. Make them also choose right from wrong. Every decision we make, every action we take, affects the lives of others around us. So, as you watch a chain of decisions in this film, try to see how various people decide what is right. Try to judge their decisions. The film will not judge. That's up to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll pick him up. Okay. What is it? Oh. Harry Green lives here. Harry in trouble? Is he in? What's he done? He hasn't done anything wrong. Not really wrong, he couldn't. Say he isn't here, cover up. But if the police want him, if he's done something. Well, lady. Can't help him by hiding him. He's here, come in. Look, Mr. Gassner, the boy your watchman saw at your warehouse has no record. He's scared silly. Suppose we arrange for the boy to replace the windows. Officer, it's one o'clock in the morning. I didn't get out of bed and come down here because of the few dollars the windows would cost. That isn't important. What is important is the vandalism in this neighborhood. Warehouses, homes, cars, stores. And through this boy, we have a chance to get at a whole gang and break it up. But the boy won't talk. He won't tell us who the others were. And besides, he says that he didn't throw anything. But he's our only chance to get at this gang of vandals. Hold him anyway. I'll sign a complaint if necessary. Might help just to bring him to trial. All right. I'll talk to him some more. And then I'll get in touch with you. Good night, Mr. Kastner. Good night, Sergeant. Get him to talk. Get tough with him. Scare him. You can make him talk. No. Then he'd hate the cops. Turn against them. Make a regular gangster out of him. Come on in, Harry. Come on in. Close the door. You're in a spot, boy. I guess you know that. Don't you want to sit down? Serious charge against you. What charge? Vandalism. Willful and malicious destruction of property. You mean... Sit down, boy. Look, Harry, this fellow's going to sign a complaint against you. He won't be satisfied with simply letting you pay for the window you broke. I didn't break his window. 
who did it will be much easier for you if you'll help us tell us who was with you just exactly what happened you'll get off much easier get off easier tell what happened squeal on the other well boy you want to talk Okay, I won't ask you again. There's a fellow coming over from your church. Your mother sent him. Name's Barker. He can wait over there until he gets here. so long to get here. You can come home with me now. Um, thanks, Sergeant. I'll bring him back in the morning. Come on, Harry. Well, Harry? I didn't break any windows. But someone did. something to eat? You sure? Oh, I uh, left a note for your father. When he gets home from work this morning, he'll probably stop by. Uh, Harry, I think I know you pretty well. I think you really didn't break any windows. But we'll have a hard time proving that in court, unless some of the others who were there speak up for you. Can't you see? I can't tell you who was there. It isn't right to squeal on your friends. You haven't got any right to ask me. You can sleep here tonight, Harry. I'll get a pillow and blanket. Aren't you going to ask me any more questions? Just one. Is it right to hide a lawbreaker from justice? Harry's problem is far from solved. It's not the purpose of this film to solve his problem. That's up to you. Discover and apply your moral standards. Think of the decisions yet to be made, of the decisions already made. Judge them in the light of your standards. What is right and wrong? Did you agree with Harry's decisions? Would you have done the same? What about the night watchman? How did he decide what was right? Would you have done what he did? What did Harry's mother do that revealed her sense of right and wrong? Did you agree with her? Would you have taken Mr. Kastner's stand? Would you, in Sergeant Kelly's place, have forced Harry to talk for his own good? Suppose you were in Mr. Barker's shoes. How would you have helped Harry? How would you have decided what was right? What if you had Harry's problem? How would you work it out? It's your story now. You decide what is right. 